Thank you so much. I don't know why I talk so much. I don't know if it's for their benefit or my benefit. I am exhausted after that piece. I'm just exhausted in general. As I mentioned earlier, uh, tonight for some of our senior undergraduate students, it is their last performance with the KU Wind Ensemble for the for the rest of their undergraduate uh, career. And for some of them, it may be the last time they play in a, a band of this level or this caliber um, uh, for a very long time. If they, if they choose to stay in this area, that doesn't have to be the case, because I don't know if you know this, but Allentown, the Reading area, is very blessed with very high quality community, community bands and orchestras. We have four bands alone, I know, in the Lehigh Valley, and there's uh, at least one that I know of in the Reading area, so there's plenty of opportunities for them to continue their craft uh, as music educators and so on and so forth, and hopefully they'll keep pushing themselves to become the best musician they can possibly be. The next piece we're going to play is actually the impetus for the entire concert. Last year, I asked uh, not an alum of KU, but a former faculty member here, um, uh, Richard Wells. You might know that name because the rehearsal hall in this building is the uh, uh, Richard Betsy Wells rehearsal hall. And then we just opened a brand new building here on campus called the Wells Rap Center for Mal Percussion Research. Uh, and that was a uh, largely thanks to the incredible generosity of Richard and his wife Betsy and their, what they've done. And Richard was the director of bands here, I believe, for 26 years. I can't remember exactly off the top of my head, but I, I originally asked him to come and conduct on this concert, and he wanted to do the Carmen Dragon arrangement of America the Beautiful. Unfortunately, Richard has been under the weather lately and was unable to join us for the concert this evening, but I didn't want to stop that. And that brings me to something else. Richard's generosity, everybody else's generosity, right before this concert tonight, actually, we had a rehearsal in here until about 5.05, and I had to do some stuff, and then I had to run out to Osgood, because there were two incredible people that have uh, made it a mission to endow a scholarship for band. Well, I should rephrase it. Uh, they're both educators, one taught in Allentown for 30-some years, and the other one taught in Parkland schools. And they, uh, the, the gentleman, the husband, uh, played in the band when he was here at KU, and he thought it was just the thing that really defined his experience here at Kutztown. So him and his wife have committed to endowing a scholarship that will pay two $1,000 scholarships each semester for somebody who goes into education but plays in the band. So if you're a music educator, hint, 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 uh, if you want to be a music education major here at KU, that's one of those scholarships that you'd be able to uh, do. And I had to go meet with them and talk to them, and they, they met with the students. And that's the important thing. The other thing I was going to ask is, everybody on stage who receives a scholarship for playing uh, here at KU, if you want to go here at KU, would you please stand up? Give them a round of applause. <laughs> Look at those people. Look at their faces. Those are the people that benefit, and other students like them. You can have a seat now. Thank you. Other students just like them, through your generosity. You can do that in your program. There's a QR code that you can scan, or if you're a little bit more old-fashioned like I am and you prefer to write out a check and mail it in, you can also do that. Uh, please do that as you are able. It really does have an impact, especially since about 35% of the students who come to KU for college, they are the first person in their entire family to go to school. So a lot of them uh, need extra financial help and also need extra help with everything else. But, Without further ado, we're going to go on, and here's an absolutely gorgeous setting by the famous American arranger and conductor, uh, Carmen Dragon. 